What are you doing here? Why is she? She's not meant to be here. Where did you appear <laughs> from? Back. Oh, ta da! <laughs> Magic. So, I wanted to make this video with Nock, and I asked her, Do you want to make this video with me? And I told her what type of video I was going to make. She was on her phone at the same time, I think, on social media. She said, Yes. I start setting up the camera and everything. I thought it would be quite fun to share it with you. And then I go in the room thinking that she's gone into the room because as soon as she said yes, pretty much, she went into her room because we have a two bedroom house that I've been keeping since she went. And she's just laying there on social media. I'm like, what are you doing? I thought he was getting ready. She's like, what? I didn't know I was making a video. I have no idea. I didn't even know that we were going to make a video. I thought Danny was going to make his own video. Yeah. So <laughs> Hopefully that humors you as much. I haven't yet. even shower, I'm not ready for this, yeah. but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ready as you ever be. So yeah, she is back. And <laughs> where have you been for people? Well, most people are gonna know. Well, I've been away but... for like two weeks. And I, I went back to Pi, where I was, where I was from. Well, where well, we was before uh, we, we came were, here. Yeah, where we were before, I uh, went back to, uh, to my restaurant and yeah apparently it's not as busy to, as I thought and then after a week I kind of run out of things to do so I I book a flight and come back to see Danny well there was yeah. more reasons than that for just coming here as well you was enjoying being at your restaurant like you're saying but what yeah. was going on for you internally that made you have a desire to come here and I thought it was actually longer than two weeks it seems like I've been away for like weeks and weeks and weeks and Man, weeks and weeks like I feel that it's so long wow that's surreal so yeah what came up for you to make you actually want to come here because you weren't planning to come back that soon after leaving correct yeah, I thought, thought like a month I'll come back or even two months uh well well, first of all, I really, yeah, for me internally, I want, I want to come back and see you. And there's, there's a lot of things, like, we do have some issue going on while I'm away. And, and, like, I don't, I don't like talking online or communicating online with, you know, people in general. And it's just, like, it's, it's difficult to, 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 you know, communicate with you fully online. And... Well, I it's want, like, yeah, yeah, I want to see you in real life and talk. Um, do a lot of the issues going on in the connections. Yeah, yeah, which yeah, there's been certain things coming up. It's the first time we've had this long of period, the longest period of being separate each from each other. Yeah. And if people are not aware of this, everyone has love languages. A lot of her main love languages is like quality time, physical touch. Yeah, physical touch and being with. Like, you know, the one that I love, like, in real life and yeah. be able to, like, actually, like, feel them. Yeah. Yeah, like, that. that's my, yeah, one of the love language that I need. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it hasn't been working for both of us necessarily being away. We knew we had to. She had to for certain reasons go, but obviously I stayed here. But, yeah, it's been... It's difficult. ...an interesting challenge. And we didn't know how it was going to be. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, especially when you have things come up in a connection, just voicing things through, whether it's Facebook calls or Skype or whatever, there's only so much you can do. To actually make someone feel safe and secure as much as possible, meet all their love languages and that, and go through things, they need you to hold them and be there with them physically. So yeah, it's something that's definitely tested us. Well, as with any test you sent in life, you can either grow involved in it or just be a victim from it. And we're definitely growing together through the experiences that have been going on um, and I'm very happy that she's here yeah I didn't well, well I, I want to share experience with everyone where I I booked a flight and I as soon as I land on the island it costs me and then I have to take a, a boat to Koh Phangan that's where we are right now um, I did want to and I just end up didn't I just don't feel good well, uh, yeah, in, I'll explain you know, that in a bit more detail. Emotionally, it's going on. It's my wife since the plane land. I'm like, I don't want to see Danny anymore. I don't want to come here. I really freak out at the airport. I have like panic attack. I went to the the bathroom at the airport. I just kind of locked myself in for like 15, 20 minutes. And I just had to cry a lot. I don't know what's going on then. Everything was just like so quick. Um, 
and then I decided not to take a boat which I already pre-booked before and I just checked myself into the hotel and just stay there for a night and yeah and Wait, what is going on I, I messaged here. you I, I didn't yeah I thought they didn't want to come here I was thinking about getting a flight back right away to Chiang Mai and then go back home in Pai so yeah uh, I did messaging you yeah. yeah, and I'm gonna talked, I'm gonna yeah. just clarify that a bit more because some of what you're saying may confuse people. So yeah, right. she's taken a trip all the way here. She had yeah. a lot of emotional stuff come up that she had not processed, that was stuck yeah. within her. Then she landed, and all of it come up to the surface, and then it was very overwhelming for her, and her body just went into this shock state. It's not something that she foresaw, nothing I did, because leading up until the point her getting a bus from Pai to Chiang Mai, she was absolutely fine. When you was going to get the flight, you didn't feel so good, but you hadn't had any calories from what I was wearing. Yeah, when you so had some I'm things. Really tired. It's yeah. just like a lot of yeah. sitting and. La you know. Lack of sleep, traveling a lot, then having unresolved emotional stuff that you wasn't necessarily aware of until you landed. And then it come yeah. up and then you was like, whoa, never what's going to me on? in my life. That was the first time I experienced that. So. Yeah. Um, but then, inevitably, what happened is, like you said, you stayed there in Koh Samui and then you started moving through things and then you actually wanted. To come here and that's yeah, why think, you end up being here yeah i don't i didn't want to run away i didn't i think it's the, not the best idea to run away even it's like i i'm very scared and fearful of what's gonna happen or what i'm gonna feel when i see daniel when i'm here but i don't think it's the best solution to avoid things no you know it's like if i take a flight back and go i would not see you again we we're in the connections and it's not in a bad way. I didn't want I didn't want it to, to end like that. Yeah, and I didn't want you to leave because I saw that it was just like you was very uh, emotionally overwhelmed. And what can happen naturally is the body just goes into survival, survival state. It's either flight, fight or freeze response. It's understandable. Yeah. So I just tried being, uh, well, I was just being as empathic and compassionate with her, listening to her mm. and just supporting her as much as I possibly could and just did the best that I could yeah. uh, just doing as much non-violent communication as I possibly could and just seeing that yeah that was what was going on for her and yeah, yeah she didn't want to come and I said okay that's that's I fine I want, did I change my mind okay I'm coming to see you tomorrow yeah. and then the next morning you didn't want to see me so yeah, it's all, obviously it's like affecting you emotionally so, yeah. which I totally understand yeah. it's so understandable yeah. why would you feel that yeah. way well yeah it well, brought actually, up so many emotions up for me and then it was like <laughs> I switched it's into hard. your place, yeah. and you switched into my place, and, it, and like it was now, just like, like I really want to come. Like I, like yeah. me, I need to see you. Yeah. Or else I would regret. I didn't want it to end that way. You know, it's yeah. just yeah. Because I know even I run away. Yeah, I I avoid this. I'm not. I don't have to face it anymore. Just done. We just not yeah. connecting anymore. Um, but I would rather face what I fear and you know, work it out the yeah. best that I can. Yeah, so we're going right. into a bit more in that in a second sound that I just thought that would be really good and it's like Yeah, we've both sent major, major challenges that tested us. Many times when things come up her she wants to run away. That can happen for a lot of people. It's understandable why that happens. Yeah, it's the first response for me. For yeah. Sure. Yeah. Um some people like I said will freeze, some people will fight. It, it just different for people in different situations for many different reasons and that's all okay. Um, so yeah, then I had my processing to go on and then you was doing online violent communication with me, so hearing me, understanding me, me, me being, being very compassionate and empathic. And then I got to a point where I got my mental state shifted and then I was like, okay, come here. Because I was like, don't come here. I don't want to see you. I just don't at all. And it was just because I got freaked out, then my heart blocked off. It was wanting to keep me safe. And then I was like, mm, actually, I'm going to go more into my heart space, let less of my ego decide what we're going to do and yeah I came to the same conclusions as you it's like well you're pretty much already here you're on the island next to this island it takes half an hour to get yeah. here on a boat <laughs> um, and yeah when did you actually arrive here was it oh yesterday, yesterday at after half you. one yeah yeah um, which is challenging for us at first but then throughout the day what we just found after not that long period of time I'd say is we just started no. opening up to each other yeah. sharing certain things Feeling more safe and secure. Yeah, we came came back home and like I do feel much better in my heart and feel more safe and love towards Danny. 
yeah, and you say yeah. memories on the bed, just relaxing next to each other, you feel quite calm and safe and yeah, secure. Yeah, so, so I've been traveling, I've been yeah. tired all day, so like, I really need, like, you know, comfort. Yeah, yeah, it's like anyone knows, especially when you're tired, things are more overwhelming than if you haven't eaten, which you hadn't eaten for around 30 hours, then things are more overwhelming. Yeah, I've um, been fasting for so long then. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then we just started connecting more intimately. And yeah, I'll say, what was your experience? What did you notice throughout the day? How did things change throughout the day from yesterday until now? What is the experience for you between us and for you internally? Like, until I could explain the way I feel, but like, if I have to think in my head, like, I still don't know what's going on right now. Well, you do know what's going I on. I know what's going We're on. We're exactly here right now, because all that exists is the present moment right now. Yeah. Well, I'm asking you, what was the experience that you've had with me since it happened? Has it just been like we've been fighting the whole time? Did you feel unsafe, unsecure? Like, what has been going on whilst oh, yeah. we've been connecting? What has the day yeah. looked like? What have we got up to? Like, from, from before that, I didn't, you know, the the feeling that came up that's made me not want to come here is because I don't feel safe and secure around you. I don't feel like my heart is blocked off. Um, but once I get here, see you and we connect and actually physically, you know, like together, yeah, obviously my heart, my heart feel more open towards you and more love and it's make me want to come close to you and not nurture you. And yeah. Yeah, well, from what I observed, how it and was... Be more, and be really intimate. Yeah. Together. Yeah, well, how I saw throughout the day, of maybe it's easier for me to explain it, is like, we just became closer yeah. and closer and closer and closer throughout the day. And up until right now as well, I'm just feeling more and more and more love. To, like, it feels so yeah. good and right for me. And we just had such an amazing day of each other. Went to the beach, connected really well. We went out and mm -hmm. it. We just had just such easy. a good day. It's like... Yeah. The, Leading up to you coming here, it was like a whirlwind, a tornado. And then it just got progressively better and better and better and better and better. And I feel so much love towards you. I feel so deeply connected to you. Yeah, I, feel I feel that yeah. we have processed so many things that were not processed yeah. before and certain things that have come up recently. And yeah, there's still some other things going on that we're moving through, but as a whole, I couldn't feel happier in the connection. I couldn't feel better in the connection. I don't know what your experience is. Maybe yeah, it's not for you. I feel similar to you. I even feel that yesterday was even better before I left. You know, like the, the way that I feel in this connection. It's I the best it's felt yeah, in quite a long time. In quite a like long a time. long time. Yeah. Even before I left, we didn't have like, I didn't have like, I didn't feel like the best in the connection, but now. Yeah, I do feel feel more loved and feel really good. Yeah, it feels exactly how I would like it to be. And yeah, I didn't know that it was necessarily going to go in this direction. I really, I we both didn't know what anything. was going to happen. I don't, yeah, I don't know. Like coming here again, I have, I have no idea. So yeah, it's turned out that way, and I'm, I'm really, I'm really glad, and I appreciate yeah. it. And yeah, we don't have any expectations. We're just going to go with the flow, see what happens, because I've felt a need recently that I don't want to move to Chiang Mai, Thailand. I was going to do that, which is next to Bai, Thailand, just because I love being here. And that's an yeah. issue for both of us because then we're really far away from it's each other. Cool. She wants to be in Pai most of the time, for understandable reasons, yeah. for your business and things. Yeah. And then yeah. I want to be here. So that is some sort of big incompatibility that's been causing a lot of issues. It's one of the things that has been causing yeah, issues yeah, at the because, moment. Yeah, because I can, I cannot be in a connection where most of the time I'm not around yeah. my partner. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. meet a lot of the physical needs that you need in an intimate connection and, and same for me. Um, so yeah, we'll keep you updated on that. But yeah, we're just going to make the most of the time that we're here. And what plans have we got going on? Well, we're just going with the flow of many yeah. things, but we're going to be here for a while and then where are we going? Oh, we're going to Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia because yeah. we have to do a visa run. Yeah. And I've never been there. I'm so excited. Okay, what are we going to do there? What are we going to eat while I'm we're there? I'm going to eat Ben and Jerry's. Vegan Ben Vegan. and Jerry's. <laughs> I'm going to leave all of it. <laughs> <laughs> and then we, I had Ben and Jerry's before when I, I was not vegan but I'm excited for the vegan one and yeah, I know they're going to be good. Yeah. I'm excited. And there's a lot of things there. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm looking forward to the durian as always. We check out the urban <laughs> forest, go to a nice spa, do some other things. 
yeah, it's going to be a very interesting experience for sure. Oh, and what are we going to do while we're here? We're going to do a special mukbang. What's the mukbang Ooh. we're doing? <laughs> we're going to do the uh, uh, spicy Korean noodles yeah. hot pot. Yeah. Um, mukbang. Um, yeah, I'm going to cook for you. And you're going to cook in front of them and then eat them or what are we doing? Exactly? Yeah, that's the plan. We're going to show you how to make it. I never made it as well. I never make it as well, the hot pot. So it's going to be experimenting. <laughs> Maybe I'm not promising it's how it's gonna taste or how spicy it's gonna That'd be. That'd be interesting, yeah. Uh, it'd be funny. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited too. I, I'm always get excited to cook or anything that involves food. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, it's interesting to share things on it because certain things we're sharing does make me feel uncomfortable, for sure, without a doubt. But it's like. Yeah. I think it's good to voice things and to be vulnerable. Yes, yeah, some people might look at what you're sharing with them in a way that they might respond to you that's not nice. I do get a lot of hate on this channel, many different things, but it's like, I will just ignore those naysayers. It's like. Yeah, but you're just being authentic with yourself yeah. and what you do. Yeah, and we just want to show you that we are normal human beings just like everyone else we have ups and downs she has ups and downs just in her life without me so do I we do together yeah, it's just okay. part of life yeah. and a lot of the challenges that have gone on have allowed us to get to a space within this connection where it feels the best it's been in quite a long time for both people so mm. like I'm coming here I think I, I wanted to end the connection but now I don't know like, I don't <laughs> I don't like I don't expect anything anyway but yeah I'm just in this state where I'm just I feel good right now yeah you know and be close to Danny and enjoy and spend time together that's all yeah that's just how I feel yeah and that's it it's like we said one of the big incompatibilities by me being here and you being there it just wouldn't work so that's one of the reasons why we would have to end and like something else well. yeah but yeah we might talk about the other thing at another time okay. but yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah and that's what a lot of people do a lot of people in relationships where there's big incompatibilities and they try and make it work and it's like it's not going to work because nothing is broken so you can't fix it yeah. so it's always asking yourself like is this person fully in line with me can we come up with certain solutions to resolve certain things that are either incompatible or not working if you can't then it's like it can be hard but and you'd it, have yeah. to end it and it's, it's okay if the other person wants different things from you it doesn't mean they yeah. don't love you or they don't want this but like I don't want to, like in this case, like if you don't want to move to Chiang Mai, you love here, I don't want you to, you know, do that. Yeah, and I don't want to force you to be somewhere be that you don't want to be. Yeah. It's like, yeah. I want you to be as happy as you possibly can. And it's like, yeah. you need to be your number one priority. And I will never get you to, well, I'll never try and force you to do something that you don't want to do. It's like, if you want to do something, you're naturally drawn to do it, then for sure. So it's like, yeah, yeah. we may stay together, we may not. We'll just see and we will yeah. keep you posted. Um, yes, okay. It definitely would bring up a lot of intense emotions for me because certain times we thought we have going to be breaking up and it's been very intense emotionally for both of us because this connection means so much to us. We do love this connection so much. We do want it so much. Yeah. But yeah, who knows? Maybe I will, because I am a person that is in the present moment most of the time. So someone could ask me exactly what I want now or something and I'm like, mm, yeah, I want that. But then in five minutes it changes. So who knows? I might say, oh, I will move to Chiang Mai now, or I'll move here, or I'll do this, or I'll do that. It's like, I cannot predict the future with anything. No, yeah. Um, and for me, I just don't want to be in Pi. I did like being in Pi. I moved there at one point, and it was served me the way that I want. Yeah. Well, it, it's, it's, yeah, it's for them to know, but yeah. Pi is so small. It's insanely small. I like it. The gym is the worst gym ever. <laughs> There's nowhere outside to train with bars. <laughs> And there's hardly anything there. It's a place which is mostly for young backpackers. Well, you work in the restaurant most of the time, so you. Have it's a lot of nature, and it's feel feel like everyone close together. I'm obviously I'm not. I'm like living in like a more like a Thai community where everyone just look close together and just like a small community, everyone helping each other and you know that's what I like and like most of the time just enjoy what I do in the day. But even you said you wouldn't want to be there for the rest of your no, life. No, yeah, actually one thing is it's not convenient. <laughs> like it's not much developing going on. Yeah, not much development at all. Yeah, so yes, there's a lot of time that I do miss like being in a big city like Chiang Mai or Bangkok or even here that's you know 
Yeah. Yeah, and like you said, a lot of time it's the non busy season, so it's very quiet. There's not really anything going on in the restaurant or anyone oh, it's anywhere. It's so quiet, it's like Silent Hill. <laughs> Yeah, that's one <laughs> like of the... town. Yeah, I, yeah. Oh, as soon as I get here, I'm so happy because I miss the beach and yeah. you know it's it's beautiful here as yeah, well. Yeah. So yeah. I'm still like, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, we we'll see what happens. Yeah. Who knows is what is upon the horizon? But what we're gonna do is just appreciate the time we spend together as much as possible. Yeah. That's what you should do with anything in life, point. because you never know. You might walk out your door now and get hit by a bus, and your life's over. So you need yeah. to make the most of your life and. Spend as much quality time with the people that you love to connect with yeah. because you just don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. Someone might just vanish from your life, you might vanish from this world, and you don't know it's going to yeah. happen. So, and it's like, it would, it would this connection work or not? Like, at least, like, I, 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 like, I do know that I feel good now being here and being with you, so that's the more important thing. Yes, yeah. like, I feel happy, and there's no point that I want to, you know not do this yeah yeah and i don't regret it yeah yeah well it's like if, if you feel good from doing anything in life you're just focused upon that present moment how it's feeling now you don't think in the future oh i might not do that because it's going to go away or this or that or that it's just like yeah but if, yeah i don't know like maybe in the future if you're in the connection it's going to brought up a lot of emotional and like pains and you know but that is in the future like i don't want to go into that right now well it's, and it's not just, necessary yeah, it's just part of life experiences. Yeah. So like nothing necessarily lasts forever. Some things do, some things don't. But uh, yeah, it's like, even if it did end, at least I know leading up until it ended that we'd had the amazing bonding and connection time that we're having at the moment. Yeah. And that I can appreciate it fully for what it is right now. Yeah. Instead of going into fears and worries of projecting myself in the future what if this and what if that and then those fears creating stories which you can make me run away because i want to keep myself safe or just make certain other things happen so yeah. then it robs me of being happy in the present moment and appreciating that's exactly true. what's going on yeah, now that's so, true i agree how many people in today's world are either living in the past or the future. Yeah. They have all these regrets of the things they didn't do and, and they, they should have done. And it's them to do what actually make them happy or what actually they want. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. like, I'm not going to focus upon the past and say, oh, I wish I'd done this and I wish this had happened. I shouldn't have done this and I should have done that. It's like, that's not good. And then thinking in the future, oh, I'm scared about this thing happening and that and that and that. It's like, the past is gone and the future hasn't happened yet. Hmm. And yeah. I'm not always in the present moment. I try my best to be in the present moment as much as possible. Meditation can help with that, mindfulness practices, but yeah, you can rob yourself of having the best experience right now in the present moment that all that exists is now. Everything that is around you is all that exists now, nothing outside of this world. So mm. yeah, it's just I hope, yeah, I hope that has a positive influence on you to give that type of awareness. Because I know so many people suffering in the world so many people could free themselves from their suffering just by being in the present moment. There's other things as well, obviously changing things in your life that you're not happy about mm -hmm. and within yourself, meeting your inner child's needs and so forth. But yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're going to finish up this video, I'm going to edit, done all my other work and then we can enjoy the rest of the day and see what's going to happen. Yeah. I don't know, maybe we do a sorter at some point. Oh. Oh uh, yeah. And what else are we going to do? What? What are we going to do? I don't know. You're going to train legs. No! I'm going to train you. <laughs> That's the only thing. <laughs> Oh no! You say you never want to force me doing. That's the only thing. <laughs> you do actually that. like training. I though. do like training. Yeah, it's. It, I feel good. Well, it's After like, training, but like, yeah, there's like a moment that's painful, you know. And yeah, like, and exactly that. Almost yeah, every you time. Can compare to this, yeah, this is a good example. Well, yeah. So, yeah, so many things. So many times I don't want to go to the gym. I don't feel like going. But it makes me feel amazing afterwards and I feel so good about it boosts my self-esteem and confidence level so you just said then. Yeah, that's true. So you're not going to want to go towards something that's painful, yet you know it's good for you to go towards rather yeah. than running away. Hmm. Soon as you can become fat, slobbed, so obese and no <laughs> muscle. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that would be interesting to train her. You haven't been really training since you've been away. No, I've been Lacking. Yeah, she wants to eat pizza today. She wants to eat junk food. So we'll see what happens with that. I think I will was. if after I train definitely. No! Ah! I'm gonna go eat. So you've been pizza. Up, well, you've been under eating. Yeah, as well. I don't eat a lot when I'm back in Pai. It's just so hot. I just mostly I just make myself like stay hydrated all day. But yeah, mm. yeah. So yeah, 
that's it for this video. Wish you lots of love and happiness and joy in your life. Yeah. As I said, there always be challenges, ups and downs. Life's not sunshine and rainbows. Um, but I'm happy to share our experience with you now yeah. and uh, everyone yeah. here. <laughs> Yeah, got any questions for us, leave them down below. If you like the video, like it down below. Give us a thumbs up. Please share this with others. And don't forget to click that subscribe button to receive a lot more videos from me on an almost every single basis on many different topics. And yeah, make sure, if you want to be notified when those videos are uploaded, you click the subscribe button. Down below, you click the bell notification button. Next subscribe button. Otherwise, YouTube will not notify you when those new videos are uploaded. So, not as always, it's not going to be stay happy. No, not stay fit. Stay energetic and go and get those gains. I was going to say stay happy, stay healthy and enjoy the rest of your day. But that used to be for my other YouTube channel and the outro for those videos. Instead mm -hmm. I'll stay, make the most of your day, appreciate yeah. what you have in life and just be in the present moment mm -hmm. as much as you can mm -hmm. to free yourself from so much internal suffering that we create from being in the future or the past or both of them simultaneously. So yeah. Catch you later. Bye.